What's going on everybody? Como estas? Buenos dias. Namaste. Good morning. Fawaka. How are you guys doing today? Apkai sanhe. It's a beautiful day here in downtown Georgetown, Kayana. And of course, you know I haven't been to the market in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks. So this morning, it's Saturday morning, and I'm heading down to Manrepo's market. I decided I'm gonna cook today for you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna buy as yet. You know, I'm a spontaneous guy. When I get there, I'm gonna see what they have available. What captured my eyes. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna head back to the kitchen to start cooking. So me and my boy Raj in the market, eh? Read by Hassaman. You know, my boy Robin tell me, if I see big hassle, pick up some free. So, I'm trying to get some big hassle here right now. But this is the busy hustle and bustle in the market too. I don't know what, oh wait, my friend. I don't know what I will be buying here today to cook or something. So I get 20 hassle here, nice size hassle. For how much, man? 10. So, I see you got nice catfish and a nice big curry, man. It's a nice big big curry, man. See, that was five minutes. All right, when I get them, right? See, I caught a curry, so it's just two here. So, I might be making some, um, nah. I buy banga, my hiker bridge buy. Oh, how much you want, Pasley? Thousand? You might give me about 10 for a thousand of my hiker bridge. No, no, I'm telling them in my coverage, I'm going to get 10 for 1,000. Yeah. Okay, lad. Oh, you look at this, you look at this, get this some of my Salmon, yeah, how much is that? How much is that? How much is that? Now I'm going to go back there and sell them 50 now and 2,000. How much you will pay? You tell me your price. You tell me your price. <laughs> How about 2,000 now, Ravid? Alright, you'll pay 2,000. Well, you can't, no, now I'm going to buy them back there for 15, yeah, 2,000. Okay, yeah, you'll pay 2,000. Alright, buddy, thanks. As you said, 2,000. Don't cut it, yeah, don't cut it. What for you, just. Just scale, scale them out a little bit. So I see a nice salmon there that I got um, maybe big. We got some nice shark in the middle there. For foam, snapper. Oh, but I got some nice big paku there. Wow. Hey, mama, oh, I'm sorry, boy. Everything good? Hey, yeah, man. Go ahead. How things? A long time you're not going for this camera, right? Hey. Yeah. Nothing goes far, boy. Yeah, buddy, across the world, everybody see you. That's terrible. This man, they have any video, man. We got fine mango, we got Nekli, Bancarello. Then it's the menace. Oh, then, all right. Yeah, buddy. I got some snook, snapple. Where am the girlfriend? Oh, yeah. So, pick it up, my fishing. Heading back to the kitchen. So I got my stuff. I'm a nice fish. I got some salmon, snapper, catfish, and mackerel. High water. So heading back to the kitchen to start cooking. So as I make my way in the kitchen here, Miss Lynch is shy for the camera. She's worried about her hairstyle. Shut up! <laughs> She's making some lovely boro and potato and shrimp. And I got this boro in my haiko. Crick when we went and catch the fish, my boy, boy gifted me, he picked that from his farm. We got some rice, man, how can life get sweeter and fresher than this? So I don't know what I'll be doing because Miss Lynch making the bora and um, shrimp and I love that. I also have some salmon edo in the fridge that we cooked yesterday. I'll be eating that as well. So the best thing to do probably is to fry some of the high water fish. I'm gonna save the snapper to bake and the salmon to bake. And we have catfish, we can make the catfish curry tomorrow. So guys, I didn't expect when I come home, my wife is gonna cook, today's my day to cook. But thankfully she started cooking, so um, I'm gonna fry the high water. Oh, well, you went on a vlog, doing a vlog, so I didn't know what time you were coming. So she said she knew I was out to the market and I was vlogging. So she didn't know what time I was gonna get home, so she decided to start cooking, which is a nice, nice guest job. She's complaining that when she called me, I don't answer my phone. But if I'm recording, I silence my phone. I, I can't take phone calls. So hey, that's the life of a YouTuber, I guess, right? 
let's get busy. Got some lovely bandana. I got some green onions. Who knows about this in China? When I was in China, I learned about this. I know it's spring onion, they call it, but you can cook this. It tastes really nice. I ate it in China. I'm gonna cook it today. It is, you can stir fry it with some fish. All right, and look at these bad boys here. Now we got mackerel, or mackerel we call it. Lovely salmon here. I got a nice snapper. And this is a fish called high water. But right, it's a really nice fish. We just use it locally to make um, sardine. You know, we replace sardine with this fish. We make, you know, we, we boil it and we will mince it and add your seasoning, like a choker, a fish choker with it. it tastes really good. So, I'm gonna clean up these fish, put some in the refrigerator, and I'll be cooking some. I don't know which one I'm gonna cook yet, but I'll be cooking, I will let you know. I'll be frying the high water today and some catfish. Just wanna show you guys how to clean this fish, right? This fish is a skin fish and it has a thin layer. You have to scrape off at the top, you see this? You have to get this off. All right, I don't know what do you call that, but as a boy growing up, I remember my mother and my father used to scrape it off. All right. This fish has a lot of oil. When you chew the bones and stuff, it gives off some oil. But it's a really tasty fish. Good. And then you want to cut it up with tiny pieces, you know, so you can fry more crispy. I finished killing the fish. And I squeeze two lime and I let it sit to help cut off some cut out some of the slime from the fish. In the meantime, who remember this? My coffee mug and my coconut water. Only thing missing by is the grey goose, eh? Nothing like a fresh glass of coconut water. Well of course, I made mention recently, me and my crew. We are on a 10 weeks alcohol free. Started two weeks ago. So this is two weeks now. We are all alcohol free and we gotta go eight weeks more. Until December, then we're gonna be drinking a Lorado or, or Bangs beer or anything. Cheers to that solution. So I'm getting a great help here from this fine young lady. She already blend up the garlic and the bandana and some shallot. And fine, time. and fine time and we added some garlic powder to the fish and now you're adding that fresh green seasoning <coughs> mm, you can smell the greatness of that banana of course look what we have here we have the shallot the bulb you call it the bulb or the ball you know the bottom of the shallot we have the garlic we have the ginger we have the pepper we can stir fry that just now in a moment we're gonna mix in that loveliness there man just now lunch got ready. Because it's a stir fry we make it with the, with the shallot uh, bulbs, you want to grate, you want to grate the ginger. And look, look at what it looks like right now. This is my garlic and my ginger in there. The oil is hot. So I'm gonna add my ginger and my garlic. That is just, uh, you could smell the greatness there. That is just cooked for like about 30 seconds. And of course I'm using my wood spoon because I have a non-stick pan. And this is star fry, you don't want to overcook this, right? This is, this is how I see the guys in China made it when I was there a couple years back. Let me add my onions. I'm not sure if they call this thing spring onions, but adding my onions and my pepper. I know many of you Guyanese don't know this dish, but Mr. Shadow thing smell. 
wonderful. Yes, the ginger gives it a really awesome smell, aroma. Basically, it's intense. Basically, yeah. A lot of ginger, yeah. Shallot, yeah. We're supposed to get some shallot to that, Yeah, let's pick it up for you. So I'm just gonna cut here and have it. Yeah, let me show you. I'm gonna add some soy sauce because you don't want to burn it, right? Yeah. You add about two tablespoons of soy sauce, mahan. But you can make it without the soy sauce, right? But I am half Chinese, so you know I love my soy sauce. After two minutes of cooking, I'm adding my shallot. Turn this up. And within 30 seconds, this is done. So this dish only takes like three minutes to cook. Hey, of course I said you don't want to overcook this, right? How are you going to burn it? So? Does it need any salt inside? No. Oh, because I, because I threw the soy sauce, which is salty, you don't need to add salt. If you're not using the soy sauce, then you add a little pinch of salt, all right? This right here is finished. So the oil is hot and it's time to put the fish in. So look at how beautiful that fish is looking like. Lunch gonna be ready just now. Look at the goodness here. Mohan. This fish couldn't get fresher than this. How can lime get sweeter? I'm lime pepper, I look good with that. Yeah, this fish made some lime juice pepper the other day, boy. We gotta try that out. So I'm gonna fry out these fish, and then we're gonna head out the front patio or veranda, and we're gonna have lunch. As the family. Miss Lynch came up with an idea. She saw when I went to Mahaika the other day to catch fish. My friend Boy and his wife Simo, they made lime water or swamp. So she said, Long time she didn't drink some of that. The weather is really hot right now, it's about 2 o'clock. It's kind of hot outside, so um, yes, Miss Lynch decided to make some nice lime water. So basically what you do, you get the, the, the juice out of the lime, or you can use lemon as well. You add some sugar, water, and a little pinch of dark essence. You stir it up, you can add ice to it, crushed ice, or you could put it to chill. And that's lime water. And it's a typical Guyanese drink, or you call it swank. I remember back in the days, my good friend Riyad Raza Bacos, the man used to bring, his mother used to make swank and buns and we used, he used to bring it to primary school and the good primary he used to share with me man and i used to enjoy those swank and buns those were the good old days and look at these bad boys here these are ready to take out you see it's getting like golden brown so i'm gonna take these out right now and then i have the last set to fry and after that it's time to eat so here we are, lunch is ready. Hello people. Hi. Hi. Yes, Hello. so today the menu is fried catfish, Hello. fried haiwato. We have lovely bora and potato with shrimp. The bora came from Mahaika Creek. Rice. I have some star fry shallot bulb or shallot head. We got some nice pepper sauce there. Miss Lynch made some nice, lovely lime juice pepper sauce over here. She pouring out this, this one there, or lime water. And of course, we have some nice pineapple over there. So guys, you dig in and let's give a review on the food. Miss Lynch want me to show her pepper sauce. So this right here is what she made. There's two bottles of uh, lovely lime juice pepper sauce. And oh, let me show you guys a little tour of my garden. Now, this is how close you can get to a rice tree. See this paddy on the tree there? <laughs> Fortunately, that, that tree grew there. I don't know how and why. Maybe the soil, it was in the soil, and we got it. We have some nice um, dye tree here, turmeric. Now, this pepper, pepper tree, look. You see it, it already giving some pepper there. We got basil. We got some lovely ginger, and these here are mustard bhaji. We have there with some celery. 
we have a tulip sea leaf there that we just used to pray and here we have some curry leaf with a nether pepper tree there I got water my garden so this is what my garden looks like actually this is what a mother does you know she makes sure she set out all the plates for the family isn't that amazing smile darling yes you want me to play? so here i have my swank right i'm gonna taste the swank and tell you how it work this is lime water you see when the place is hot when the weather hot you need a glass of lime water to quench your thirst taste that lime and the uh, essence in here it's not too sweet not too sugary but this is awesome we don't want too much of sugar and remember lemon is good for covid pineapple is good for covid those are stuff that help boost your immune system to fight after covid so cheers mm. and it tastes so refreshing the lime water so now my plate of food is ready yeah nice look at this here so we have the nice star fry shallot bora and shrimp and we nice fry fish over there come on how can life get better yeah darling give me somebody message make sure lime juice pepper sauce so we can try it show the whole thing the man i don't know how much you want when you put in pepper you put in pepper Look at that goodness uh, lime juice pepper sauce with this eh? all right so right. let the rest of them taste and then i go give my review <laughs> mikey mm -hmm. or if you have with the um food body it good. all right mikey said food tastes good no problem <laughs> <Too many people. laughs> what do you think selena how it work it's amazing megan Pepper. <laughs> pepper? Maybe that's what she want pepper. So look at that loveliness. And this is Auntie Shido. Thanks to Auntie Shido. She daughter and she granddaughter, you know. Send me four gallons of pepper sauce from SQMO. Time for Megan to give her review. What do you say, Megan? <clears throat> In the meantime, we're gonna have Miss Lynch over here. So this is what we are doing right now. It's like 2:30, and hey, this was this is the um, onion stir fry. Yeah. Um, what do you think name it? Is? Stir fry shallot Shallow, ball, shallot yeah. head. Mm -hmm. I learned to make that dish in China actually. I know it's Chinese dish. I wonder if it tastes good. Should I yes, make it again? Yes, it does. It does taste great. What do you like about it? I love it. She like about it. Love it about it. Okay, I got, I got the <laughs> message. It tastes great. Okay. I like the ginger. Yeah, you can taste the ginger in there. The presence of the ginger and the soy sauce. Anything for you, Megan? It's sweet and savory at the same time. Once again. No spoon, that's the rule, and that's because you use this. No longer using the spoon for now. So, so, first I'm gonna try the, the Chinese dish, which is the onion head, right? With the rice. Mm. You can taste the presence of the ginger there. And that soy sauce really tastes nice. Like it burst in the flavor. As Mark Green would say, mm. it burst in the flavor. Mm. Mm. I really like juice pepper sauce. Add some that lemonish, limeish taste like. Real awesome. Let me taste message Bora. This borough come from Micah. Micah like that. Wow. 
There's a fresh set of bora. Of course, fried fish. Mm. Crispy and nice. So, within two minutes, I can finish up this plate. I'll bring the timer. Before that, I can end the video. We're gonna sit in here, have our lunch, enjoy our lunch, enjoy the atmosphere. What else do I want? What else do we need? Life is amazing. So I want to thank you for being here with me, for watching this video. God bless you. Stay safe and please remember to do your one act of kindness. See you in the next adventure.